Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. It's time for yet another drive-by. We are going to be jumping on the Savanti West Coast in the sort of safe travels livery here, the white one. It's going to be leaving from Houston and it's going to be heading for Glasgow. So a wee bit of an extended route there. There's the uh, East Midlands Railway train. Uh, there's a couple of Qantas planes that are probably going to collide with each other in the distance and we have not switched off this stuff which we need to do. Make that all go away. So the train is arriving into London Houston. Again a uh, great model this. Also yet again a, another nightmare to actually build out. <laughs> But you can see the London skyline in the background. Looks nice. There's one of our New Age Route Masters. There's a blue one down there. It looks like the station is fairly empty. Which seems odd because I would imagine Houston Station would be would be pretty busy. But we'll jump on board this once it turns around. It should have a quick turnaround. There's very little people waiting for this train. It's actually got a fair distance to go to reach the other side. It is kind of a shame that there's just a sort of wall here, but uh, it is what it is. It's still a spectacular station when looking looking at it from the outside. There is a gap there as well that would be kind of nice to fill in. <clears throat> but hey-ho, the train should be ready. Now, is this going to give us yeah, a, a spectacular view of the of the wall there? Right, so we're going to about turn 16 people on board, not that much, and then we'll be proceeding out and heading west to go on the west coast line. Okay, it's taking slightly longer to about turn. Hello? <laughs> What's happening with this train? There we go. Oh, there we go. Chilton Railways coming inbound now. Uh, we're sort of stuck. I don't know why we're stopped here. I do still see that East Midlands Railway train way in the distance. I can also see a A380 taking off at Heathrow there, which you would not be able to see in real life from uh, <laughs> from Houston Station. That would be rather disconcerting if you could. Uh, why are we stopped here? I mean there probably are a great many trains in front of us. That Chiltern Railways train is still down there. Hello? May we proceed please? It's probably because I've got no signals at all on the exits to these these platforms. We are devoid of signaling, which might be causing causing an issue. Yeah, can we go? Why can we not go? Okay, so we are off heading out. We actually had to wait for a few trains to to come and go. That London Northwestern train, we had to wait for that to get in and we had to wait for a couple of Chiltern Rail uh, services to depart also. Probably because there's a severe lack of, of signaling. That's my bad. <laughs> for some reason I thought that we didn't need signals out here but clearly we did. So the last day we jumped on the LNER train that came from Aberdeen down to London's King's Cross. It should be... Well, I do see some trains way in the distance there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see them, but I, I can. So we're heading out. Uh, this line to the left is the one that branches off to Luton, where that East Midland Rail train disappear to. I don't know if we'll actually see it as we pass. 
Yeah, see one of them on its way back. So that's fine. So round we go, uh, off towards uh, Crew. Crew is the first stop, so this is the service that does not stop at Birmingham. In fact, I don't think there is a service in Avanti West Coast, uh, Edinburgh, or sort of Glasgow to London service that stops in Birmingham. There, the problem, there maybe is. It's been so long since I've built these lines, I, I've forgotten. Forgotten all the stops that they take. But I'm pretty sure this one is this Crew, Wigan, uh, Preston, Carlisle, and then up to Glasgow. So it won't be a, won't be a fairly long episode. It's it's not a massively long route. I was gonna jump on the one that goes from Edinburgh, and comes round past Glasgow, and then heads down the west coast. I maybe should have done that. In fact, is there one? I, th I think I'm thinking of a, a Trans-Pennine route there. But this one does not go through Manchester Station either. And and I would like to jump on a train that possibly does go through uh, Manchester. That would be cool, because Manchester's got a pretty, pretty neat station, and there's lots of trains that head in through there. There we go, we should rack up some speed. Now is this going to beat the top speed of our Great Western Railways train from the other day, which I think topped out at about 100 and 190 miles per hour, I think it managed to get up to. This one's already up to 90, but it's going to be approaching a junction soon, so it will slow down. There we go, that looks like Doncaster, possibly on the right hand side there. And there is another train there. I do not know what that train is. Looks like a Trans Pennine service, yeah, I can see the colour scheme now as we're getting closer. Looks like another Chiltern Railways number on the left hand side, possibly. And it looks like we've got an East Midlands Rail. Uh, class 43 in front. We do have a red light. That's unfortunate. This train is going to join on to our line. There it goes. Chilton Railways. Heading back to London. I think this is a London Northwestern Rail in front of us. I think I can see a freight train way on the left hand side as well. I think that's one of the log freight trains or the timber freight train. Yeah, it looks like we're passing the or we're waiting for trains to pass on that that sort of Midlands main line there that heads from east to west. Now I may jump on board the uh the EMR class 43 at some point. I did watch a documentary the other day it was made by East Midlands Rail and they were talking about the class 43's uh, how iconic they were and uh, we had staff members that were sharing their memories of class 43's because I think they are in the process of removing class 43's from service I think So it's looking like it's going to be the end of the, it's nearing the end of the Class 43's uh, lifetime. Alright, so we are stuck here again. I did not realise this line was so busy. That train in front is not budging either, it's not moving at all. So it looks like it's giving priority to all the trains that are heading from east to west on that line just off to the right hand side there. There we go, that train is moving now so it will pass the next signal and we'll be able to continue on our little journey here. And then we'll branch off to the left and we'll avoid all the chaos that is just happening up above. There we go, off we go. Now this train is going to possibly be able to accelerate a lot faster than that train in front. So I would imagine once we get to the signal that that train was stopped at, we will potentially have to have to stop again. 
I'm just trying to remember where this train branches off from. Now that bridge over there at the left is the line that heads to Oxford. That is not the direction we are going. We are continuing on and then branching off further up, up the line here. Yeah, so if at least that, that train in front can get onto that sort of main line there, then we should be okay. It is a red light here. And it's changed to green. Awesome. You can see a plane up above as well. Very cool. Do I, I really do enjoy the planes in Transport Fever 2. Lots of liveries as well on the Steam Workshop, so that's that's also a bonus. Right, so we are gonna. I think that other train heads branches right, and I think we just stay on this left-hand side. Uh, now you don't have a signal here. Okay. We are continuing straight on, so that's nice. We should have a clear path in front of us until we, until we sort of join up at Crew, and then it should become a a bit more congested again. There we go, a couple of trains on the right hand side there. No idea what they are. I think, it, I thought it was a London Northwestern service, but I think it's actually a Avanti West Coast service. There we go, cross country Turbo Star on the right hand side there. Ah, it's a London Midlands service, stuck behind a Trans Pennine train, stuck behind the Class 800, waiting to get into Birmingham. But we are going to bypass all that and just continue on, which is nice. It's a nice feeling, not being stuck behind traffic. We will get stuck behind traffic again. I would uh, stick my life on it, <laughs> especially heading up through Crew and Wigan. Those areas can be busy. There are a few more freight trains on the line uh, just past Preston as well. So, we'll have to potentially deal with them. There we go. London... No, that's an Avanti West Coast service. Nice. So, it looks like we are continuing on here. So, that line to the left is a different... It's the darker colour. It's the slower track. So, I must have made that and sort of reserved it for freight trains. Although there are no visible freight trains at the moment. Right, continuing on. Right, now we're approaching uh, crawl, uh, crew. So this is going to be interesting. It is. It does look as though it's getting slightly more laggy in this area. And it should because... There is a lot of stuff happening in this in this area. So it has the game has more stuff to sort of render in, more stuff to sort of deal with. Lots and lots of goods on the left hand side there. No trains to pick them up, unfortunately. Because I would imagine that they are possibly stuck in traffic. Right, the moment of truth is upon us. Are we gonna are we gonna get stuck? in traffic or are we going to be okay? What do we think? I don't know. Uh, looks like we've got a Midlands train. Is that the orange? West Midlands? It is. Uh, we've got a... F what is that? It's a freight train. <laughs> I thought it was a passenger train with uh, Mark IV coaches that just looked really dirty. Because <laughs> the front of that train is obviously a striking resemblance to a, a Class 225 or the 225. But obviously that's not what that train is. So here we are arriving at Crew. few people here waiting. It's not as busy as I first thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be chopped full of trains. Now this area up here 
between sort of Manchester and Liverpool, that is always uh, quite literally chocked full of trains. It's such a short distance on this map. I mean, obviously there is uh, Bumbling Brit made the the Manchester Liverpool sort of railway. And then he modded or created a map that was Manchester and Liverpool area, which was really nice. It's a good map, that. It's got tons of places on it as well. There we go. I love this freight train for one reason. It's like, yeah, it's, being, it's like being passed by a rainbow. <laughs> the colour schemes on the containers are great. And they're so bright, they sort of pop. They look really nice. Uh, we should be able to go. That light has turned green, so that is awesome. There is Manchester Station there on the right hand side, which is awesome. And then we continue on to Wigan, which is literally just at the other side of this bridge that we are about to pass under. It's a very short hop from Wigan to Crewe. It's also a very short hop from Wigan to Preston, which we can literally see just sort of over here, just in front of us, just off to the right. I do see a Trans Pennine Class 390 that just rolled over the bridge. I also see a Turbo Star heading back towards Manchester over the bridge. I also see Transport for Wales train on the right hand side as well. Uh, and that should come down this way. We should see it just appear on the right hand side here. Looks like another Avanti West Coast number as well on the left as we approach Wigan. Oh no, the Transport for Wales uh, goes from the bridge above us. That's okay. Hello there, Class 390. And Avanti West Coast livery. Really nice livery. Definitely one of my top five. That Avanti West Coast livery. Into Preston we go, though. Oh, there's another one right behind it. But these might be on different services. These Avanti West Coasts. So there's nothing in front of us, so it should be a short transfer here, and then back on our merry way. Or I'm sort of hoping it's going to be a, a short transfer. I like that the lights are modelled in that first class carriage as well. We just sort of saw them as we sort of went past. Avanti West Coast. 390, 150. I think they're all 150, aren't they? What's your serial number? 390-150. What is that? That's strange. <laughs> sort of neon corridor there. Uh, background this way, please. We're actually inside the cab. We should be in front of the cab. And we are off. 64 people on board. Not quite half, but still decent. Probably not enough to make a profit for the running costs of these Class 390s. But still, pretty cool. Right, there's a freight train as well. But the freight train has just turned off, so that's nice. it shouldn't really cause any issues for us. It would have been nice to pass it though, with the fuel tankers. There it goes on the left hand side there, EWS. Alright, up to Preston. And then round to Glasgow. That is the route.
So obviously not going to take us long to get to Preston. Again, it's just a short hop. But is he a longer route to from Preston to uh, to Carlisle, just round the corner, round the round the mountains? There we go. There's a peaks or two peaks in tandem, hauling some SO tanker wagons. All right, here we go through other freight train. Arriving as well. I think this is the Stobart Rail uh, freight train, possibly. Is it? Yeah, Stobart Rail. Cool. Right, so again, should be. We... Well, the actual transfers in this are quite long. I didn't. I can't remember them being that long. The door should open though. Uh, 45 people left. And uh, there's a Trans Pennine service, class 300. Oh, yeah, class 800 there on the left. Yeah, platform 3 is extremely busy. <laughs> so we're back up to 64. So that's fine, we'll just wait for the doors to close, there they are, and we should be on our merry way again. There we go, and then off to Carlisle. So we are pulling out in front of that class 800, are we? Ooh. The race is on. Who is going to be able to go first? Right, they are going to stop and they're going to let us past. Oh, there, buddy. Alright, eyes front once more. Now, I was just going to say we might see a few freight trains uh, popping around through this valley here, but I think we've passed them all. I think they've all literally been and gone. Alright, we should continue on in this track though. Through the valley here. It's quite a nice area to uh, sort of pass through. Yeah, the freight trains are <laughs> freight trains are done and dusted. <laughs> Although there might be one, there might be one that sort of sneaks through. That bridge up there is huge. I did not realize it was as big while while building it. I mean, you really get a scale of how high up it is when you're actually riding on board a train. Although it looks epic, going across here and then going uh, over the trees and stuff. Unfinished freight line there. Supposedly for something. I do not know what though. So we'll be approaching Carlisle soon. At least the train got up to 80 miles per hour. That's a decent speed. Just for going basically around the corner to the next stop. There we go, class 150 on the right hand side there. Other Avanti West Coast, the Pride livery on the left hand side there. Looking good. Oh wait, is it going the same direction as us? No, no, it's on the it's on the opposite side. It's heading back the way. It's heading back south. Uh, what is this? A Trans Pennine electrical unit, class what is it? Class ninety two? No, can't 
can't remember. 68. Can't remember what class they are. Ooh, no, actually, we'll see on the side. A uh, 92. Class 92 there. So we are stopped. Is that because we're picking up passengers? Or because something is potentially blocking the line ahead? I do not know. That class 92 is moving though. I don't think it's a blockage in front because we would have pushed forward to that, that signal just outside the station there. But we're still held inside the station so I would imagine that it is possibly something else. There we go. Continue on, continuing on to our final destination, Glasgow. The barriers go down, the vehicles are halted, over the bridge we go. Other class 800, Trans Pennine, livery, cruises past on left hand side, nice. I do like the class 800s, They're, they are very sleek looking trains. Now it should be a clear shot for us unless we, unless we get hindered, uh, sort of heading for Glasgow Central. What is that in front? Ooh, that is an extremely, extremely dirty uh, Transpennine diesel there. It was almost black. I, I, I couldn't actually tell what livery it was. And I sort of got confused. I was like, what is... What train do I have on here that runs a black livery? The only one I can think of is the Grand Central. And there definitely shouldn't be any around this area. <laughs> but it's not unlike us for us to get trains that sometimes get lost. We have had, through the entirety of this playthrough many trains that have decided to go on a, a grand tour of the map while leaving a depot in order to find a path to the line that it is supposed to be on but yeah no that was just a that was a trans -Pennine train that was in severe need of a visit to the train wash it was extremely dirty Right, heading up through here, through the valley, and then should be down and round and into Glasgow Central. Obviously, Glasgow Central Station is not made up the way it is supposed to be in real life. Uh, I did notice that Grand T did a version of the Glasgow Central Station, which was pretty cool. Uh, it's a the entrance, uh, uh, the train entrance into Glasgow Central is elevated because it needs to go over uh, the River Clyde because the station is literally on the banks of the River Clyde and trains need to be elevated to get over the river and into the station. It sort of passes over the river then passes over like uh, buildings and roads etc. Obviously we don't have that here. If we had a bigger map, maybe. Alas, we do not have a bigger map, so we sort of can't. <laughs> right, down and round. Doesn't look too busy here. Possibly, maybe, may have spoke too soon. There are quite a few trains that roll on this section of track. There are quite a few freight trains uh, that also cross these tracks as well. I do see a train leaving. A Scotrail number, probably heading for Edinburgh, or most definitely heading for Edinburgh. Looks like a freight liner, freight train is about to pass over the bridge above us as well. There it is there. 
but it looks like we have fairly smooth sailing into the station. Oh, plane. Plane landing, plane taking off, plane landing it looks like. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild approach for a aircraft of that size and stature to be making that severe left banking turn and then sharp descent. <laughs> Oh, we've got Matrix Lady on the left hand side there. Michelin truck. Doing something. <laughs> but we have arrived. Can you actually see the other station? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, you can see the train passing through the trees there. But we have arrived at Glasgow Central. Ooh, this Class 800 just arrived as well. Nice. But we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch you later.